I do look at Fields, I try to look at him in this group setting and not just isolate only on him, but it's comparative. And even if it's comparative, none of the others, and the first of all, I don't know that many of the others threw as many passes. I mean, the kid in New England who's backing up Cam, he looked terrific on certain passes, intermediate passes, a gun of an arm, which, you know, I don't know that people talk about that as much as his sense of pocket awareness and blah, blah, blah. But, Tone, and yes, I'm biased. Justin Fields. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, in, in the running, he ran twice. He only ran twice, Tone. He looked like a miniature Usain Bolt. Like, he looked back at a linebacker once who was chasing him as if to say, really? You, that's what you got? You got some 4-6 stuff you're trying to run me down? So, to me, with my bias, judging comparatively, it was Justin Fields. I mean, and I, I know it's, it's one week. I'm not going to go crazy and start talking about, you know, making all these big analyses off of preseason one. But I thought it was Fields. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to the word of the question, the, what is intriguing. And I will tell you the most intriguing thing to me was that Trevor Lawrence started the game. I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought that they would start Gardner Minshew. So that tells me that Urban Meyer is all in on this kid. And he's going to take his lumps because that's a bad team. That's going to be like Joe Burrow last year in Cincinnati. That's not going to be easy to turn around. I'm going to leave Justin Fields to you. I know you're going to live and die with him. He's your account. I'm going to stay away from this. But thank you for mentioning Mac Jones, because although he wasn't in the lead of the question, because we saw him last week, Mac Jones looked good. He got rid of the ball, and it went where it was supposed to go. And, Mike, I don't believe that Bill Belichick would have drafted that kid if his good friend Nick Saban hadn't said to him, Bill, he can run your offense right now. Well, true, but he's still got to do it. He's got to play. Yeah. I mean, that's what he's got to do. Yeah. And so, I'm, again, I'm looking at all of them. And right now, Tony, what's amazing as a Chicago Bear fan for more than a half century is I'm not looking jealously at the others because usually that's what I have to do. I, all of right. us in the ground behind, you see the, the river behind us, all of us have to go in jealously saying, wow, I wish we had that kid. Or, so, wow, I'll why did we well, draft I'll that tell you kid? this. Here is what is intriguing about Justin Fields and Trey Lance. They were drafted by good teams, teams that have recently been in the playoffs. Yeah. They got an offensive line in front of them. They could be difference makers. They're not going to have the first year that Troy Aikman and Peyton Manning right. had. They're One not going to you know, get no. scraped up back there. Yeah. So that's intriguing. That, that is intriguing. <laughs> One quick me. question for you. Week what Justin Fields is in the lineup? in place of Andy Dalton. Week what? Three. Wow. Three. Wow. You Three. beat me on that Three. over under. Wow, I got week six. Yeah. If they go 0-1, it'll be week two. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.